Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor for TechCrunch TV. Right now I'm at Hack Reactor in downtown San Francisco, and this is a 12-week intensive boot camp program that teaches people all the basics about coding so that they can get so many of the awesome programming jobs that are available right now in the industry. So we're gonna take a look around and talk to some of the people involved. Standing with me here is Hack Reactor co-founder and co-lead instructor, Sean Dross. Thanks for having us here in this space. You're very welcome. So uh, tell me, what is what are you doing here at Hack Reactor? Um, we wanted to start the best school in the world for software engineers. We have two classes that are in session right now. We, have, uh, we call them the junior and senior classes. And right now, they're in weeks two and eight, respectively. And so this is a really great opportunity for them to work together. The senior class will work with the junior class on the stuff that they did that day and you know, just correct them. And this is like, it's a, it's a phenomenal instructive experience for both classes, right? Um, and so we have, uh, I think in the room right now, we have about 55 students. We have 29 in the senior class and 25 in the junior. Tell me about the way that you teach things here that is different from your typical CS program. We give people very brief intros to the work that they're doing and throw them into a lab environment right away. Um, they work in pairs, writing code, and we have teachers that circulate and help. Contrast this to my undergrad education where uh, there was never a teacher in the room with me when I was coding, which is a little bit shocking. Um, we teach people from day one with industry standard tools like uh, Git and test-driven development, both of which I was never introduced to during the course of my college career. Um, so there's a lot. And tell me about the people that you have applying to Hack Reactor. What, what are these people like who are coming into the program and then what do they exit the program doing? So many interesting pieces. Um, I, I love reading through the, uh, the flow of applications that we get. Uh, we, have, we have people coming from law and science and, and teaching and, and people who, who sort of are uh, very, very intellectually engaged with their work but they want uh, to be building more things. Um, we have people who have been teaching themselves to code for for years sometimes, and they're, they're looking at their different options. They're looking at, uh, at undergrad and, and master's CS programs and at teaching themselves to code online and just like, just thinking there has to be a better way. We have a lot of like really interesting people coming through the doors. Can you name drop a little bit as to what kind of jobs people get once they graduate out of Hack Reactor? Oh yeah. What are um, the results here like? The uh, graduates from the program are currently 100% are working as software engineers at companies like Groupon and ThoughtWorks and little tiny awesome startups like Live Lovely and Keen and uh, just a wide variety of places. A 100% graduation rate to get a job is kind of amazing. Uh, yeah, well the graduation rate to, to job is 100%, but we have about 10% attrition during the course, people dropping uh -huh, out uh -huh. because it's just not right for them. Right, right, so I guess 100% employment rate post-graduation. Yeah. What are the plans for the program going forward? Is, is this going to get bigger? We have a lot of attachment to the quality of the school, and I don't anticipate the um, the, this, this physical location accommodating a lot more students. Like it's just like, I, I, I think there's a little bit of magic in, in a sort of sub 30 person classroom size, you know? Um, but plans for the future, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just this thrilling and interesting world that, 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 we're, that we walked into. Uh, it turns out that nobody's really reinventing college, colleges. We have, we have MOOCs, but they're sort of piecemeal. We, it, it, sort of comprehensive education is a completely untouched space. I'm very excited to see what we can do in it. Cool. And so you seem to think it's still very important for people to be here in person. You oh, mentioned wow. MOOCs I is could... not necessarily... That is a big deal. I think that um, it's, it's completely remarkable to me that, that, uh, that in the era of the internet we have uh, lost touch with the fact that, that the real world is still incredibly high bandwidth. We have uh, just, there's so much value in working side by side with, with somebody that is um, smart, motivated, on your same page, working with you to accomplish the same goals. Very powerful. My name is Savannah Konovsky and I just finished my seventh week in the program. I was doing a CS degree at a university in Washington State and um, I took a couple of classes and the pace was just a little bit slow for me. I, I wanted to get to the big stuff quicker, almost two months ago now. I found Hack Reactor and that was it. My mind has 
been expanded to an infinite degree at this point. From being completely immersed in this environment and not just learning JavaScript and all of these frameworks and libraries and whatever goes into programming, also learned of the culture of the whole tech industry. My name is Greg Hilkert. Um, I've been a student at Hack Reactor for uh, seven weeks now, so that puts us in our second half, uh, which makes me one of the senior of the two classes that are here now. I was a mechanical engineering undergrad. Uh, I worked in an investment bank in the race department for a little while, and then I started a natural food company about a year ago, and when we were working on that, decided I really liked the tech side, and that's how I ended up here, because I wanted to get a more software engineering. Can you tell me what kind of skills you're learning at Hack Reactor that you hadn't had before? We use JavaScript as a base to learn how to do software engineering in general, um, but a lot of the stuff that we're doing here are frameworks and stuff on top of it, or server-side technologies uh, such as Node or Ruby. Um, a couple of my favorite ones are uh, like learning Angular, which is what my application is built in. Great. And can you tell me what, what have you been working on? What have you built? What I wanted to do was gain access to data about federal elected representatives and maybe uh, display a little bit of information about them to either lower the barrier of entry for people to be able to get more involved in the political system or shed light on things that people would not normally see and might cause them to vote a different way or become more involved in an issue they might not otherwise have been involved in. Here is a zip code for Hack Reactor. It shows you the three representatives, and you could click on one of them. It will take you to the next screen, which shows you more information about them. Or you could go over to the monetary influence side, and you can see uh, maybe you wanted to understand a little bit more about the securities investment industry and how they, f they donate to politicians. Yeah. And maybe you wanted to look at the Speaker of the House and see um, if you wanted some more information on John Boehner. So you could click on him. And all this data is pulled down live. It will show you a little bit about him, and you can also see the bills that he's sponsored and co-sponsored, uh, the number of people that are sponsoring them with him, and then if you wanted to read the full text of them, an external link. So after graduation, are you planning to continue working on this, or what's the uh, plan? I definitely plan to continue working on this. Whether or not it'll be full-time, I'm not sure, um, but it will definitely be a project that I'll be working on on the side.